Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk. Today we're going to be looking at this 100 watt fast charger by a company called Elonzi. So you can see it says 100 watt fast charger, it's got two USB C ports, two USB A ports, uh, supports 100 watts high power and then there's some blurb about fast charging and slim size because supposedly when I bought it in the description it says GAN char charger and the only thing that points to GAN charger here is the product name is GAN 100 watt fast charger uh, model name is GAN 100 and then it's got all the power profiles that's, that are supported uh, by the various USB ports so we're going to find out what all of that does later but let's just open the box up it's not very very exciting unboxing but basically you open the box up take this bubble wrap bag out there's no seals or nothing which is not a big deal for the price that I paid to be quite fair okay so the company is called Elonzi I believe that's how you pronounce it uh, Elonzi if you're watching let me know if I'm pronouncing it right and that's it so this is obviously the one with the UK plug or the UAE plug um, unboxing done amazing Every, all unboxing should be like this I guess going forward it's like a phone unboxing no cables included no charger included anyway so um why is there no cable included? So the reason is, and, and I, I fully support this by the way, is because, I mean, for this price, this is about 30 pounds for a 100 watt charger, and it feels okay, it's not the best build in the world, you know, um, and, and that's fine. I think we have to think about price performance value when we're buying, with it, when we're buying any product. And, you know, if for 30 pounds you don't get a cable and you don't get nice packaging, that's fine. Because a, a comparable, charger of a known brand will cost you at least double that right generally i'm, I'm generalizing but around 60 70 percent up to 100 percent more so on the back here we've got all of the power outputs again so at least we can never forget that if we ever need a reminder we can pull this out or we can take this to bed and read it at night if we want to memorize it so here we have USB C one USB C two USB A one and USB A two and little power light at the bottom now one thing, I'm not sure if it's explicitly mentioned here, let me just quickly check the box as well. And for those Samsung fans out there, like myself, um, you're going to want to know, does it support PPS to allow for 25 watt charging? And guess what, it doesn't actually mention PPS anywhere, but on this label it says it Galaxy S20, so that would suggest it supports PPS, assuming they're not just targeting any people by writing that so we're going to test this by the way so what I'm going to do is plug this in I'm not going to talk about what's, all the, what's on the back but basically what it's telling you is the ratings for each of the ports and one more thing I want to mention this is a 100 watt charger what that means is if you connect four devices the maximum output is 100 watts if you want to charge a laptop at 100 watts you can only use one USB-C port and no other device should be connected otherwise you will not get the 100 watts and I think a lot of people get this wrong and they you know feel cheated and uh, it, that's fine I think that the documentation got clear I think charging uh, technologies have moved too fast for people to understand exactly what they mean and uh, it is very frustrating and very annoying when you feel like you're not getting what you paid for uh, so there is another thing we're going to talk about with this and that's about the Dell laptops which you're going to come to see in a moment because I talk about my power bank video which I just recently did as well. Um, now, my Dell laptop would only charge at 65 watts. My Samsung phone, assuming this supports PPS, will charge 25 watts. That is a total output of 90 watts. Theoretically, that should be absolutely fine. If I plug a MacBook into here with my Samsung, it will not charge at 100 watts to your MacBook. It will probably give 25 to your phone and 60 to your MacBook or something like that. I don't know the exact numbers, but I can guarantee it will be something along those lines. So bear that in mind, right? Let's find a plug socket back in a second. Right, okay, I'm back. I've got my Precision 5540 laptop here. I just like to apologize about the lighting and I'm hoping that I'm able to demo this properly. But the plug socket is here. I haven't turned it on yet. So we've got the two USB-C ports and USB-A ports. I'm just gonna turn that on now and we can see the power light is indeed on. At least I hope you can see that. So there's a reason why I'm doing this test. I've got an S20 FE here, and I've got my Precision 5540 here. So what I'm, oh, what I'm aiming to do is I'm gonna use two USB-C to C cables, right? One is a fast gear cable, it's a 10 gigabits, 100 watt cable, and the other one is by a company called Benfei, I believe, and that is also a 10 gigabits cable, and I can't remember if it's rated as 60 watts or 100 watts, but I believe it was 100 watts. 
anyway I know for a fact that they both do at least 65 watts so we shouldn't have any problems uh, getting the maximum power out from this plug now while we're talking about that this Dell laptop and most other Dell laptops that I know of when you charge them via USB-C you will only get 65 watts now that is going to be uh, unfortunately this, the, the only device I can test so I can't tell you if this charger will ultimately charge at 100 watts but we can at least test to make sure that we can get 100 watts out of it so let's plug one cable in first and this is a long fast gear cable 100 watts 10 gigabits and plug that into the laptop and let's see we're keeping an eye on this area here let me just zoom in a little bit for now so you can see that at least I hope you can and what we're looking to see is um, what charging speed does it show right that's our aim what charging speed does it show so let's plug that in and let's see what happens okay AC adapter 65 watt discharging charging okay so we've got one device now charging at 65 watts right looks stable only time will tell how stable or how long it will last uh, is the charger warm it's cold to the touch for now but that's expected so while that's charging and this is something you're going to see a lot of people complaining about and um, i believe that there's not an easy way out of this unfortunately but the less we spend on the charger the less reliable is going to be the connectivity with multiple devices so i'm going to zoom this out okay so we've got two usb cables plugged in and now what i'm going to do is plug this cable into Samsung while that's still charging at 65 watts keep an eye on the laptop laptop screen as well I don't know how to show you both of these but I'm going to plug this in first let's see what it does super fast charging hope you can see that and at the same oh it just disconnected the laptop now let's see what happens it's come back to 65 watts discharging the phone is still showing super fast charging as you can see here and now it's charging so now we have super fast charging, I hope you can see that, and 65 watts charging. We are effectively charging with this one power brick at 90 watts. At, well, for 30 pounds, that's excellent. Now you see why for me, this 100 watt charger is excellent. It's perfect for me, for my laptop, my Dell, and my Samsung S20 FE or my Z Fold 3 because the Dell, here's the thing you need to know about Dells. We talked about this already, but the Dell cannot accept more than 65 watts or is designed not to deliver, or sorry, accept more than 65 watts of charge from a third party charger. So even though we know it can charge at 90 watts with a Dell 90 watt charger, we know it can charge at 130, we know it can charge at 65, the only one it supports from USB-C is up to 65 watts. So if I want to charge both my Samsung and my Dell, I only need 90 watts. So that means that this 100 watt charger is sufficient for my use. Now, if you're using a MacBook Pro, for example, and that charges at 96 watts and allows you to charge with this charger at 96 watts, you can only charge the laptop at 96 watts. You can't charge anything with it. Anyway, with that said, let me disconnect all of this while I finish off the video. And I just want to say that, you know, so far I'm, I'm quite pleased. Uh, I will test this out, you know, as, as my daily charger for a little while, just to see how well it does. And if I have any bad findings before I post this video, I will add them to the video. But for now, uh, it really is a, a, a really good value for money, to be honest. If so far it's delivering what it says on the package, it is delivering we know it's doing 90 watts minimum. We assume it can do at least 90 watts from one port, given that it can deliver 90 watts in total at the moment. We've seen that 25 plus 65, 90 watts. That's very good. So if you have any questions about this, if you're concerned about buying any other charger online, and there's so many of them, it's so confusing about what to buy, please feel free to drop a comment. I will try and help you. Please do feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.